<laughs> laughing at the dancing Rubik's Cube. Okay. Paranormal Activity was made for only $11,000, but has grossed over $65 million at the box office. It's currently the number one movie in the country. Wow. i got to see this movie. Uh, take a look as the real audience watches the film. This is the clip that they're sending out. This is the audience watching Paranormal. Something's here. I feel it breathing on me. Footsteps in, but there's no footsteps out. Oh, God. Oh, God. If you do try to play games with it, that's inviting it in. In the film. This is how I dress in my normal life. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for You look great too, Bonnie. You look, give it up. Melanie Griffith. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mika. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, tell me how this has affected your life. You made this movie three years ago, correct? Yes. Yes. And 2006. You didn't know each other? Nope. Not at all. You, well, how do you get called to do the movie? Do you, is it a casting call? You read in the newspaper? Or? Yeah. yeah we, uh, we auditioned. Uh, we got the audition online on uh, this thing called LA Casting, and we went in and you know, it was posted on Craigslist, too, so anyone really could <laughs> Everybody have Everybody was there. Wow. And uh, we walked in, and usually it's like, you know, here's your headshot, hi, how are you, and nothing. Or in, our director just said, why do you think your house is haunted? And Go. immediately we had to start, you know. Because you really didn't have a script in the movie, you just improvised. Right. He had a really, like, clear vision about where he wanted the film to go, but all of the dialogue Absolutely. was... Everything that we're saying in the film is totally improvised. And so, do you guys, did you get a nice deal when Steven Spielberg... <laughs> Bought the movie. So exciting. I'm um, you about we, I bought everything that I've ever wanted in my life. Aww. And it only cost fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I that's, swear, that's all I needed. Really, I just bought like some camping supplies because I'm going to Grand Canyon. That's what you wanted. That's all I wanted. Oh, that's all I wanted. You. And what about you, Katie? What'd you do with your newfound fame you know, money? I, I paid off a little parental debt and uh, bought a handbag, and, and I'm just kind of good to go. It's just kind of nice to like relax and pay the rent and not have to like worry. What did your family think when you made the movie three years ago, and then they didn't see the film? Did right. they? Yeah. My dad was really, my dad was really excited for me for a while, and then you know he was like, okay, well, Katie, can I can I rent it? I was like, well, no, you can't, you can't rent the movie, Dad. But it's gonna, be, it's gonna be great. And they said, well, can I go see it in a movie theater? No, <laughs> but. And then now he's like super proud and excited and mass and, emails. And, and my parents, I, there was a midnight screenings in New York, so I'm like, well, Dad, you better get online really early. Make sure you see the. I didn't know I could ask for tickets for my parents to see the film. I made my dad wait online for four hours. Oh, well, here you are, the star of the movie. Yeah. You're the only two people in the movie. Well, we didn't know. We came. I, I, I was working as a computer programmer. They're still paying me. I didn't quit yet. <laughs> Don't quit. Keep your day job. That's what I always did. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh. Shall we get canceled? I go back to the hospital and work as a nurse. And... I didn't know you were a nurse. Oh, That's my good. mom's a nurse. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> So you guys were on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Did you 